Hi, this is a video on how to make a uh, simple piano app for the iPhone. This is what it sounds like and this is what it looks like. So let's get started. I'm using Corona uh, and in here I'm going to go File, New Project and I call it Piano and I want to use sideways setting just like the one up here and when you do that the the Corona creates three files automatically the build.settings, the config.lua and the main.lua file and that's where uh, we're gonna put the code for the program I'm also going to copy here the uh, files for the project uh, which include things like the images let's say this is for the frame uh, in here it's empty that's where I'm gonna put the keys uh, some logo also the keys also the uh, uh, blue cover to indicate when a key was hit and the notes individual notes in WAV files okay so let's get started the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, get rid of this uh, status bar from here that shows the battery and the carrier uh, indicator so I'm gonna do that by display dot set status bar and in here goes display dot hidden status bar and after you save your file you can go file and relaunch or just hit control R and it will disappear okay the next thing is system dot activate oops system dot activate and in here goes multi touch now in the simulator it doesn't do anything because there's only one mouse but on the actual device it will enable you to press more than one keys at the same time okay so let's load some images so you do that by creating a local variable I'm gonna call it piano frame equals display dot new image and in here once the name of the file which in this case is piano frame dot png and for this one since this is a large image I'm gonna use this flag here to turn off the auto scaling which basically ensures that this image will come out the same on every device for smaller images you don't have to do that so it appears but it's not center you don't want to just put images anywhere you always want to set their X and Y coordinate as a habit so I'm gonna go piano frame dot X equal display dot content width divided by 2 and that should center it and I'm going to do the same thing Oops. to the height <coughs> in the y coordinate like that and it's a bit high I'm gonna lower it just a little bit okay uh, like that and keep in mind if you run this on a different device like on an iPad which is narrower and taller you're gonna have more shown at the top and the bottom and less on the sides but it's okay it's not gonna cause uh, any problem so let's do the same thing for the uh, a logo that will be piano 
logo logo it's not a big image so I don't have to worry about that and let's position it a little bit better and good I like that so the order you put in an image the first you put in goes to the bottom and the later you put in goes on top if I would change the sequence of it the logo would disappear because it would just go underneath the frame so the key is gonna go o over here underneath everything so they're gonna go right here and uh, we're gonna do that in the next video